this is Jerrica welcome to my channel so I wanted to do a fun video today and before people say it's weird using a condom on your beauty blender this video is obviously not serious and it's just to mimic the fact that you know there's this thing called a silly sponge I think it is it's a silicone sponge and it's designed to help you save your product longer because you're not soaking up extra product in your sponge so it's supposed to help you your product last longer I don't have the silly sponge or whatever and I don't have the little boob thing to do that so I um saw another video of a girl using a condom and there were so many like mixed comments and people thought it was funny which obviously it's supposed to be not serious and then other people were like ew that's disgusting like she was using a condom that was used like people were really stupid and then other people were like well the condom has lube on it so why do you put your beauty blender on it and you have lube on your condom I'm like duh people if you're gonna try this at least wash the condom off the condom I'm going to use is not a used condom I washed it off in the sink it's been washed multiple times with antibacterial soap and it's dry so I'm going to use that condom and if you have an issue with that then I'm sorry so um, what I want to do first what I, I think I have discovered is if you put I'm gonna put my primer on first and I'm using my Milani prime shield um, I don't even know why I'm wasting this because this I'm not going anywhere but this stuff is really good if you, uh, well, I, I really need it only in my T-zones, but I'm going to put it under each eye because I'm going to test this method under my eyes because I don't wear foundation, so I can't, I'm not going to test this with the foundation. I'm just going to test it with my under eye concealer because that's all I really wear. I don't wear foundation on the daily, so there's no point in me doing it for this video because I wouldn't know how it lasts because I don't really wear foundation. So... What I do wear though is my under eye concealer and I use my Pro LA Girl Pro Conceal in color toffee. But one thing I one trick I discovered to make your under eyes last longer is if you put your put some setting powder, translucent setting powder on your face first, and then put your foundation and concealer over that and then set it. Not too much, just a little bit. So to set I, my only translucent I have is um my airspun from that I got from Walmart. So uh, you can just put that on first. So I'm gonna put that on first. And I'm going to do one side with the condom and then one side without it and just see if there's a difference. But I wonder if you, yeah, you guys can see it. The translucent powder. Now, I don't really use this powder to set my face because I feel like it could be a little ashy if you're not careful. It's definitely not something that black people can bake with. Like, let's just be real. Like, you're going to be looking ashy. But if you use it just like this, like to lightly dust to wipe away some of your shininess, then I feel like it's really good for that. And it's really good at uh, taking away like creases. Like I don't even have any concealer on my face, even though it's looking a little bit ashy. It does help with concealing the creases, so I do like that. So now I'm going to go in with my concealer. I'm going to use the condom on this side, but not this side. So condom side, regular beauty blender side. So we're just going to see if it works. Hmm. All right, let me see. So I'm going to put my under eye concealer on as I normally would. And I'm running out of this stuff, but I have a new bottle. But I'm not opening that new bottle until I'm literally, like, out of this stuff. I love this stuff so much, and I only want to replace when it's completely empty, when there's no more life left. Alright, now I'm going to put some on... I hope you guys can see this. Put some on the other side. If you guys don't use the LA Girl, you are missing out. And this is actually more concealer than I normally use on a daily basis, but... I'm just going to do it, use a lot so I can really see how it's going to work. Alright, here's my sponge. Here's my condom. <laughs> it looks so gross because I filled it up with water multiple times. Ick. Ick. Disgusting. This feels so gross. I feel like I'm violating so many life rules by doing this. Now, let me see if I can put this thing on. So, uh, ugh. Why do I feel like my sponge got smaller when I put it in here? Anyway, this little tip is really, uh, really throwing me off. I, I thought the little beauty blender tip would have filled it. Let me see if I can get it to go all the way in. Oh, I got it! <laughs> this looks so freaking funny, you guys. Look at that! I like a lemon now! Okay, I feel so awkward doing this. Anyway, so 
I don't see how this can make, I don't understand how this is going to work. I really don't. But the silicone sponge is silicone. This is latex, so we'll see if latex works. But, I mean, if you're allergic to latex, obviously I wouldn't do this. But I've never had an allergic reaction to latex, so. Oh my god, you guys, this is so weird. Hmm. I'm so glad I washed this first because I washed it multiple times actually. You guys, that actually blended. <laughs> that actually did an amazing job. I feel like using this condom, like I said, my beauty blender didn't soak up all the product. So it just spread what was there and I feel like I didn't lose any product. Can you guys see that? Hmm. Alright, now I'm going to take this condom off and... Now I'm going to use it as the normal way on the other side. I'm going to zoom in so you guys can see just a little bit better. Alright, now you guys probably won't be able to tell on camera, but me looking in the mirror... I feel like they look about the same, but but as I was saying earlier, I, I feel it feels like when you put the condom over the beauty blender that you're not like soaking up unnecessary product. I really feel like it spread evenly on my face and with this, you know, obviously some went in the actual sponge. As far as coverage, I feel like it's about the same. It looks about the same. What do you guys think? Anyway, I'm going to set it with my Sasha Buttercup setting powder. This is my Holy Grail powder, but I always say that I feel like this powder, at least for me, it cannot be baked with. It just can't be because I baked with this powder and I swear I immediately thought of lemon pound cake. I'm like, there is no way. I can get away with this and if you do bake with this and you look like lemon pound cake use a setting powder that is your skin tone over it to kind of help it a little bit because yeah pound cake is all I can think of well I'm gonna set this whatever I just press it into my skin and this brush is perfect for this like perfect so now that now that I'm set under my eyes Hmm. Like I said, I feel like that. I feel like you, if you want to save on product, use a condom <laughs> or get the silly sponge or whatever. I can't really, I can't really vouch for the silly sponge because I haven't used it personally. But I feel like they they're getting somewhere when they when you use like silicone or latex because you're not using as much product. So I feel like your products would last a lot longer. But as far as coverage, I feel like it's about the same. And I don't feel like you have to get the silly sponge or you have to use a condom. I mean, even though I don't think that, I don't think any woman would waste her time going to, or would waste condoms to do this beauty trick. Like, I just did this with an extra condom that I found. And um, I, this is not something that I would add into my daily routine if I'm going somewhere. I would not take the time to wash a condom multiple times to get the lube off and then put it on my beauty blender, force my beauty blender in there and all that kind of stuff. There, I wouldn't personally waste time doing that on a daily, but I understand why it could be helpful if you're trying to save product. That's my verdict. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was just a fun video that I wanted to do just to see what the big hype was all about about these silicone products. Uh, like I said, I could see why you would do that, but 
it's not something that you need to do, honestly. I would keep using your regular beauty blenders or your brushes. Whatever you've been doing, you can keep on doing. There's no need to waste money on buying this sponge. Like, I feel like you just really don't need to. So, that's all I wanted to do for this video today. If you guys enjoyed this video, I hope you guys thumbs up and subscribe. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Snapchat. And pay attention to the videos that will be displayed at the very end of this video. So, I thank you guys so much for watching and have a good day.